Jeffrey Wong from Beijing, China. I've been doing magic since childhood. I perform all kinds of magic, but my specialty is coin magic. I didn't choose it, it chose me. When I invent tricks with other objects, I find out that someone else has already done that. But when I design a coin effect, it's easier for me to be original. I am one of the founders of the Magic Club at the University of Southern California. Going to school in Los Angeles has been great for my magic career and is close to Las Vegas. A few years ago, I met Penn Taylor and seemed amazing with the trick. Now it's time to try and fool them again in front of the world. Penn, Taylor, remember me? I'm back and I've got something brand new. Jeffrey Wong. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Please nice to take meet you. Thank you. Please take a seat. Okay, hello, everybody. My name is Jeffrey Wong. Super glad to be here. Uh, Brooke, yes. you ever seen a lot of magic trick? Yes. Okay, I have a question for you. Which side of the card box is the face of the card box? Uh, this one. This one? Yes. Why? Because the numbers are on that side. Uh, you know what? It's a very weird question. You know what? My card is really easy to tell which side is the face because it has my face. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Look closer. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so you like card trick? I do. Oh, sorry, I do coin trick only, so I do oh. coin trick for you, okay? Okay. Cool, like let's do tricks. a coin trick. Okay, I'll put this back. <clears throat> cool, uh, your left hand face up. Thank you so much. Do me a favor. Uh, just hold on to the coin in my left hand, okay? Okay. Yes, in my left hand, this way. <laughs> hold on to it. Okay. Yes. Uh, you can see I have a marker right here. Yes. Do you know which side of the coin is the face of the coin? Heads. This one? I think so. Okay, okay write your initial on the face of the coin using okay. a marker in my left hand. <laughs> yeah, write your initial on it. Okay. Beautiful, and it showed the camera right there. Okay. I'm also gonna write my initial on the back like this. Okay. So we just mark this coin a very unique coin. So this is her signature, and this is my signature. Okay? Yep. Okay, now I don't need a sharpie. Now, uh, still, I want you to hold out your left hand like this. I want to show you the moment I can transfer an object from one hand to the other. Okay? okay? I'm gonna toss a coin into your hand and I okay. catch it, okay? I'm gonna catch it. Yes, one, two, three. It travels to this side. And this is our signature, yes? Yes. You see it? I do. The signature. I'll do the whole thing one more time, okay? This time I'll put it on the back of my hand, more difficult, okay? okay. Your hand, your hand, like this, one, two, three. Wow, wow, what? Still goes to the left. Do you want to know how to do it? I do. Yeah? <laughs> I will show you because I can do that in two parts. Okay. The first part, I can put the coin into the hand like this. And uh, right here, I can put the coin into the air. Okay, it's right here. Okay, second part, second part. I can take the coin out from anywhere you want. Point to anywhere. Okay. Yeah, anywhere, point to. Here, right here. Right here, do you see the coin? There's gonna be a coin in my hand. Appears, um, <laughs> not yet. Okay, another point, anywhere. Here, okay, take it. There's gonna be a coin up here. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, it's my first time in Fuwa, so I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know where the coin goes. Oh. Uh, where is it? Do you see it? I don't see no? it. No? Where is it? It's on, what? It's on your neck. Oh, on the back? Yeah. Right there? Oh, okay. Let me take it off. The coin! That's the coin. Uh, let me take off the tape for you. And this is our signed coin. Yes? It is, yes. Thank you. Okay. You know what? I made a little mistake. So, let's try it one more time. Okay? Okay. Come closer. Look at this. Do you see the coin? Yes. With the signature? Yes. I close my hand. I give it a wave. Gone. Where is it? I don't know. Have a guess. On your back? Did you see it? No. No? <laughs> so weird. Let's try something like this, okay? Okay. When I take off my jacket. Okay. 
Need help? Ooh. You can see right here. Oh, there's nothing. It's just right here. <laughs> okay, you know what? This is a coin, yes? Yes. Okay, uh, check it, show to the camera, and I will try a lot thing for you, okay? This time, okay. I'm gonna stand on your right. Okay. Yes, and I have the coin? Yes, and yes. Take it, I'm standing on your right side, okay? Right here. Okay. Okay, do you see the coin? I do. You still see the coin? I do. Yes? Yes. And now, look what's in my left hand, right here. There's gonna be a <gasps> coin. Wait. With the signature, what? but this side oh. is all empty. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Amazing. Thank you very much. Jeffrey Wong, everyone, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Wow. So, so up close and personal. Thank you. Does that make it more challenging for you? Oh, so close is not a big deal. It's like in front of so many audiences. It's, it's kind of nervous for me. You did great. We really enjoyed that, right, everyone? Thank you. Thank you. Let me ask you, do you have any advice that you would share for aspiring young magicians? You yes, don't do magic. Don't do magic. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I, I think in my opinion, when I was very young, I see everything's magic. So I, I want people to get into magic later than six, seven years old. All right, it's time to go to Penn and Teller. Already? Oh, we are ready. Are you ready? I'm not ready. Boy, okay. <laughs> we're ready. Okay. Oh, Jeffrey, you know, I want to just ask Brooke. Brooke, you got the best uh, experience of that of anybody, and I believe you saw real magic. Is that right? I believe I saw real magic, yep. Every moment of it was just perfect. I have no um, idea how you did that. The stuff you did was just beautiful. It's the best of that kind of stuff we have ever seen. When I say that kind of stuff, I got to backtrack a little bit, and people watch fool us for different reasons. Everybody just watches to see great magic. Some people, of course, tune in just to see Brooke. Uh, some people, uh, and some people tune in to try to figure out, uh, uh, I say certain things in code, they listen to the puns, and they try to go to the internet, and they search every word and every pun, and they go running down all these angles to try to find out how the trick was done. So I give them arrows to Toyland. I just tell them where to go to find that. And for those people who watched that incredible, magical moment between you and Brooke and want to go to the internet and search, I want to say to them, tough <laughs> I am not giving them a syllable. Uh, there's a technique that you do that I'm not going to do a pun about, I'm not going to give a hint about, but you do it as well as we've ever seen it done, better than we've ever seen it done, and it was fabulous, it was truly magical, they got to see you, they got to see Brooke, it was a wonderful moment, and you didn't fool us.